Welcome to the group phase of the EHF Cup, packed with 16 clubs from 10 nations and some European powerhouses, like THW Kiel, the reigning champions Buxa Berlin, and last year's finalist San Rafael. So fasten your seatbelts and try to relax. What better way to open the action than with a repeat of last year's final? Fuchs of Berlin against San Rafael, a showdown in the Foxes' den in Berlin. A tight game, but in the end, a third consecutive win for the Foxes against San Rafael, led by the world champion Hans Lindberg and German national player Paul Drucks, who both scored seven times. Group A's second game saw La Rioja, led by Munoz with six goals and a solid defence, take an easy five-goal win against Balaton Faridi, for whom Balaj Soloshi top-scored with eight goals. The Group B favourites, Hannover Burgdorf, led by new world champion and the best scorer in the competition, Morten Olsen, had some troubles with the Macedonian guest, Eurofarm Robotnik. The Macedonian young superstar, Filip Kuzmanovski, took the leading role for Robotnik in the second half and kept the game close. However, the home side stepped up in defence and took an important first two points. In the second game, we saw true drama between Tatabanya and Nexa. The home side were in front for almost the entire game, but could not seal the deal even with eight goals from Milos Vujovic. Nexa took their first crucial lead three seconds before the end, with Patrick Leban scoring the winning goal. Two vital and surprising points go to Nexa. A neighbouring derby in Group C between Porto and Cuenca, but no neighbouring love was shown on the court. Cuenca opened the game solidly and took an 8-7 lead, which was the wake-up goal for the hosts. Porto took control of the game completely and managed to secure an eight-goal advantage before the half-time buzzer with some spectacular play. The game was decided in the first half and Porto sealed the win and their first two points. The second game in Group C brought us the definition of a crunch finish from Kildeland of Holstebro. A stellar performance from Mitrevski and goal for Constanta seemed to make the game safe for the Romanians. However, a change in tactics and a spectacular performance from Kildeland meant Holstebro secured a four-goal victory. It will be close in Group C. And finally, Group D, with three-time Champions League title holders, the mighty THW Kiel. And the title favourites gave a superb performance with the impressive Nicholas Landin and a collective team effort in attack, with nine players on the scoreboard. A successful opener for Gislas and Zebras and the two points against Granoyer. In the second game of Group D, GOG secured the win against Polish Azoti Pulavi with top scorer Jakobsen in the lead role. Very important points for the Danes at the tough away court in Poland. That's a wrap for the first round of the group phase. Some top-notch handball, spectacular goals and saves, which make us eagerly await more actions.